Hey everyone, it's So For Dolls, and I hope everyone had a great Christmas. It has been a long time since I've made a video, and I'm sorry, I've just been extremely busy. But here is my Christmas haul for 2019, and I did get a few things that I don't have in the haul, but most of the haul is I have a couple of American Girl dolls, and some Our Generation dolls, and it's the most, um, one of the most exciting things for me is I got some Disney animator dolls that I have really wanted for a long time. So let me show you, this is like the back view, I mean like the overall view. I'll do a little bit close up and so you can get a better idea of what I got. Hopefully this isn't too dark. Um, it's the day after Christmas and I don't wanna wait anymore to open stuff up so I just have to go with how it looks, but I hope you can see it. So on the far left is this beautiful Rapunzel doll. She is an animator doll that I received from my parents. Like I said, I love the animator dolls. I've been wanting them. Hopefully I can start sewing again and buy a couple of patterns for them. And then I got Nanea's, um, which it's her luau dress. And I'm not gonna take anything out of the box because I'm trying to make this a quick video. I got the Our Generation outfit that is called the Seaside Dreaming Cute Pajamas. And behind that is the doll, uh, Melia, I think her name is. And I'm going to be taking her out of the box tonight. I'm hoping to get rid of all the cardboard tonight and take these dolls out. This, I'm going to bring her up close, is the beautiful Pocahontas animator doll. I did open her on Christmas and my daughter gave me her. She was the one that was top on my list for the animator dolls. I just love her face. And she has a cute little raccoon. What's it, Miko, I think the name was. I can't, it's been so long since I saw the movie. But she is gorgeous. So here's the next group. I have the Our Generation Maricela doll. And if you notice that the Our Generation dolls have that really pretty face mold that's real popular right now. And of course the Pocahontas. And then I got Truly Me 20, uh, number 68. And my original 68 I got at the benefit sale I think it was and she had the eyes that are not good. This one has good eyes. So I'm gonna be, I replaced the other Truly Me 68. I did an eye swap so I didn't keep her name Mallory. This one will be Mallory is the name I wanted to give 68 since I got her. Next to her is beautiful Bina. And I'll be taking, like I said, all of these out and hopefully putting up pictures real soon. And then I got some stuff from Etsy that I really wanted. So uh, let's see. I got, I think these are just adorable. These um, little ears, they're little like Minnie Mouse ears or Mickey ears. And they're from Clearwater by HC Crafts. And they're Jess with a matching Jess shirt. Adorable. I can't wait to dress somebody in this. This cute mermaid top and the beautiful mermaid ears that are the Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse ones that are just stunning and so gorgeous. And look at the, ooh, the aliens, you know, from Toy Story with adorable little ears. And I can't wait. Like I said, I just love these. I'm real excited. So there is a group of beautiful dolls. So you can see a little bit of Bina on the left. Next to her is Su Yin, and um, most of these dolls are for my husband. And Su Yin, he surprised me because um, I mentioned one time that I saw her like at TJ Maxx, I think it was, and I was trying to get her at Target last year, and I didn't get her. And I said, "Oh my gosh, I this doll I tried so long to get last year, and I finally just gave up." So he went and surprised her. I mean, got her for me and surprised me with her. Um, because she wasn't exactly on my list. I just mentioned that last year I wanted her so badly. But look how cute her jacket is. It's like a fur-lined pink suede, and she's got gray um, little dress, which I'm excited about. I love the jacket, so I'm real excited to see Su Yin. And another doll my daughter gave me is this beautiful um, animator's doll, which I think she said she loved this face mold. It's the Cinderella. Look how cute she is. And, um, and she really likes Cinderella's hair. So what is exciting about my daughter giving me dolls is I think these are the first dolls I remember her ever giving me. So I'm really thrilled for Christmas that she gave me dolls for Christmas because she always says like, what do you want? And I'm like, dolls. And then she usually buys me clothes, but she buys me cute clothes, but it's so exciting that I got dolls this year from her. Because the clothes, you know, I end up getting rid of eventually, the dolls will be staying in my collection.
So here are the last few things that I got doll related for Christmas. On the left is Kathleen and she has like a strawberry blonde or gold hair. I'll be able to tell more when I get her out of the box. Next to her is Cassie and she comes with a little white dog that looks really cute. And then there is Mienna and she's like a deluxe doll and I think she is posable. And she has like some director accessories and a book. And next to her is Rafaela and she's really pretty with a bun in her hair. So um, be sure to check out my Instagram later because I'll have them out of the box with uh, some um, more pictures. And finally, the newest Create Your Own doll comes in my favorite Create Your Own outfit. It has that pink floral dress with the little denim jacket and the purple shoes. And she is the darkest, she has the darkest skin. She has um, freckles, the classic face mold, gray eyes, and she came with the good gray eyes. And her hair is textured, which was one of my favorite wigs. And it's, um, I really am enjoying this wig. It's really full. I took her out last night on Christmas night. She has the textured hair in the brown color. So that was my Christmas haul 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to check out my um, Instagram account, So For Dolls. I'll have this photo up there. And if you can comment over there, which item is your favorite? I am in, ready to enjoy them all. And a lot of times um, I run out of time to look at stuff. So I'm really hoping I get through all of this tonight. Won't this be fun opening up? Thanks again for watching and um, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully I'll have a video for you soon with the new Girl of the Year 2020. Bye-bye.